Hi guys. Today we're making um, some brown stew fish. Fresh fish. I don't show you fresh fish. I'm going to brown stew. Um, I have them in some water. I'm going to clean them up already. Let's so put some lime on them. I'm going to get rid of some of the grass. I don't like grass. I'm going to grass. I'm going to my friend. So, I'm going to throw off the water here now. Alright, so let's throw off the water and put some paper towel down in there. And let's have rest in here for this so they can drain off the water. And my self fry will fry them, so I have to get the water all off the floor. Put the um, put them in the oil. Alright, so I'm going to try to soak up most of the water with the pan there. As much as I possibly can. So, I'm going to get off as much of the water as I possibly can get off. So, so I go there and I go drop some seeds in the pan. So very minimal seasoning on my vessel. I have some salt and I have some green seasoning right here. So what so I go do? So I take a fish. So I can clean fish then after all. Okay. Go then clean up. And so I take some green seasoning. And just throw that down in a bit. Alright, I'm in this one. We will link my green seasoning video in the cards above or down in the description box so you can check down there or click the link up there and watch the video here to see. And then I just take some salt and sprinkle it on it. I don't want to salt in it but I don't want to cook on the fish. Alright. So now we just nothing. So I'm ready to fry my fish now. I'm just adding some some oil to the pot here. Ready some pot of the oil. I have to replenish my oil. Normally I would fry my fish inside because it's rainy now. I'm not able to do so. So I have to do it inside and try to see how best I can hold on to this situation. I remember we're doing this on low, so we don't have it I just need to take them and release the flavor out of the thyme and the garlic. So because I'm trying to reduce the smell in the house, um, I drop in some pimento seeds in there as well to release some flavor and also to eat in. Dropping the in cutting down the fish smell, you know, when I fry fish in the house, it leaves the fishy smell. As like I said, I normally fry it outside on the cold stove, but because it's raining, I'm going to fry them inside. All right, so let's so make them release out the flavor out of these, and then when we're ready, I'm going to come back. Yeah, so I'm ready to remove the garlic and get out of this. So we're ready to start frying the fish then now. Get the oil up there. So I take them and drop them down here. So what I did, I threw off some of the oil that is in there and then 
May I add a little sugar to the oil. Mm -hmm. Yes, I stir it up in. I'm going to roll it up. Drop the flame a little bit. Sit there now, start get the curry and the color. So now I want to burn. So to this now we have onion, we have carrot, Irish, we have one round the middle. Now To get the um, carrot and the Irish that it's done. Over it a little bit. So drop in the tan. Tomato. Sweet pepper, pepper, grated garlic, chopped pimento, and some grated ginger. Oh. I didn't add a little salt, no, not adding much, but I had salt to the fish earlier. So we add a little salt and it will taste. We will taste this later on. And a little. And a little cancer. And all of it, green seasoning. We'll link, I'll link it in the cards above or in the description. About two tablespoons and a little soy sauce mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Woo! I'm ready to add some water. So I'm going to cover it and allow this to come up to a boil and to allow, allow all the flavors to marry together, to come together. Alright, so this is where we're at. I'm just going to add the fish to it. And then this fish will just absorb all of that flavor. I'm going to put some fruit sunscreen on the top here. And then we'll add some okra in our fish. We shall go with okra. So I add them up right now. I'm gonna cut that absorb all of that flavor that we need. We're going to do this. We don't want it to have a little crunch to it. So I'm not going to make We're not going to allow the... Sorry about that guys. We're not going to allow the okra to become too soft. We need to have a little crunch to it. So let's go to some other sauce over there. So I'm going to cover it now and allow all of them flavor the products get into the fish. Here is the finished product guys. My authentic Jamaican brown stew fish. Super delicious, quick and easy. Here I have it.
have it served with some rice and peas, my roasted vegetable pasta and a salad. Thank you so very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video guys. Thank you.